Hi guys, it's uh, Joe from uh, Canoe Bushcraft. Um, on the little video, I'm going to do a, uh, I'm doing a 24-hour stopover with my 24-hour uh, bag that I put together. Little go bag, bug out bag, A to B bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to video sort of most of it. I'm going to, uh, I've got a puncher at the bottom of the bag. I'm going to lay that down over there and. Uh, go through the contents of the bag, sort of briefly. Um, I've tried to keep it as minimal as possible. Um, so I'll set that up over there. I've found the little location where I'm gonna be. So in the tarp set up, sleep system's gonna be over this side, which is to my right. And I've got a water source to the left here. I'm only gonna be about 20 feet away from the water source. So um, it may be a bit buggy, but I'm kind of um, blessed where these things don't really like to bite me that often <laughs> for some reason but, um, yeah so I'm gonna set that up quick I'm just gonna lay it out and then go through the bag quick and um, then we'll go from there and um, I've got no water with me I've got a water purifier but um, filter with me so I should be taking some water from the little stream to the left of me here so uh, yeah so I'm gonna crack on get the camera set up and all the rest of it. Um, the only stuff that I've got with me today, other than this bag, is this camera paraphernalia stuff, which is a pain, pulling in and out. So, carrying around all the time. Um, but I'll go through that anyway. So, see you in a sec. Right, anyway, I'm gonna get the pack off. As you can see on the pack, I've got the, uh, it's the black, plain black rain cover. This is like a medium size. The pack itself is only around 30, 35 litre. It's a um, cheap and cheerful, made by combat. Uh, so everything's pretty concealed. Just them off. Just one of these, they're only about three or four pounds, but um, they're great for concealing what's on the pack. I've got a few things on the outside of the pack, so I can, uh, yeah, just conceal it if I have to get through. If it's a bug out, I've got to go through towns or anything or anything like that, and I can really see what's on the pack. Um, I mean, for what they are, they're all right. I mean, they're great for using as a kneeling pad. You can just put these over your knees and uh, just keep the water off your knees. Um, those other bits and bobs, then they are 100% waterproof, so I could even carry water in it if I needed to. You know, it's just one of those where you can wash up in it, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. And if you've got any Rastafarian friends or anyone with a decent set of dreads, ideal shower cap. Anyway, so. There's the bag. It's just like the um, just the combat assault pack. Pretty sure it's 30 litre. It's not too bad. Straps are quite cool. They're all right. They're quite padded. Uh, you've got a little compartment here which I've got some bits in on the side of the pack. Um, right, got a Laplander. It's just tucked in there. Got a little S bean on it. And I've got a ham radio. Uh, we did this ham radio is all preset with um, the uh, United Kingdom Survival Network channels and the package that comes with that. Um, so it's there if I need it. And, uh, it's quite a good little setup to have, you know, uh, which is cool. I've probably used this about five times ever since I've had it. I've used the FM radio on it most of the time. And yeah, there's a load of legal mumbo jumbo that goes with it. You don't use it unless you're licensed and all the rest of it. But in a dodgy situation, I think that goes out the window. But personally, I just don't use those channels, you know. I think I've used them about twice. And that's because I've got um, a second one at home as well. So just to make sure it works. 
um, just very briefly and I think I must have only keyed that the PT button I forgot, <laughs> a dozen times and most of those by accident well I've just grabbed hold of it uh, so that's that side of the pack on this side I've got a torch and just a cheap and cheerful mower which is um, you know pretty good knife for the pennies so okay um, it's got one main compartment I've got a secondary compartment utility two utility pouches on the front uh, it came with this like plastic carabiner it's all right uh, does what it says that's about it so what I'm gonna do oh, on the bottom I've got a little waterproof bag it's got a puncho in it this is the only sort of rain cover that I've got in the bag so I'm gonna open it out I'm gonna lay that down and uh, take the contents of the rucksack out just lay it on top of here just to keep it off the ground um, I'll just pause that for a sec whilst I set this up, save my battery. Right then. This uh, puncho is, um, I think it's the the IZ military one. I've had it about five or six years. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty robust, it's pretty decent. But, um, yeah, there's loads of, uh, loads of gump out on the net. Right, in the front utility pouch, there's not a great deal in here. I've got a uh, rechargeable torch, which is also a, a power bank, which is pretty cool. First aid kit, um, pretty basic. Well, it, it's it's all geared up for what I know how to use. There's nothing in there that I don't know how to use, so it is pretty basic. Um, you know, no point me having stuff in there I don't understand how it work so yeah that's in there got a charging cable which is for the, my phone yeah, which obviously goes to the um, little power bank torch there and I've got a, an emergency blanket I think there's one in there as well I'm not going to go through the actual uh, first aid kit it's just plastic and bits and bobs and a couple of painkillers and stuff like that. So, that's in that little plant pouch. Right, the uh, second utility pouch. I hope this lighting's all right. It's, it's a bit dark. But so that's got compression straps on the side, so. Also, what I like to tend to do with the rucksack is just get used to doing it is the zips always on the same side it's just like a muscle memory so I just always go to the one side of the rucksack to undo it's just I don't know whether it's my OCD or what but I just like to keep it that way okay so in the front utility pouch I've got a variety of items um, that's like hands-free uh, earpiece and speaker kit for my ham radio um, I've got the Sawyer water filter, which I'll be using in a bit. Um, I've got a couple of navigation stuff in here because I've got um, an OS map of the 1 in 25 OS map of the area. Um, I've got a whole bunch of the things, but um, depending where I'm going, so this is chucked in the back of the motor and I'm going somewhere, then I'd have an OS map for the area to get me to A to B. I've got an, an old E-Trex which is pretty cool. This is great for like um, it's basically I'd, I'd use it for recording where I've been so you can just turn it on and it records your steps where you're going so if you go anywhere sort of like way out there Dartmoor or anywhere like that it's quite cool to turn it on and being a bloke you know if you get a little bit lost we just tend to keep walking thinking oh it's got to be this way but if you do get lost then you just press the back button and then you can follow your back it just backtracks you to where you've been which is you know it's pretty cool um, conventional decent compass 
Um, this is quite cool. I do like this. It's just like a, a large monocular. But it's great for navigation if you want to take a bearing with your compass on your OS map. If you get elevated, you can pick up some sort of stuff in the distance. Some landmarks, whether it's a church steeple in the distance, one way. You know, you get a two-point bearing or even a three-point bearing if you want to be more accurate. It's, it's that's part of the navigation kit. Got a secondary torch in here, which is a red one. It's the right for night time and so on, and good for the navigation. Uh, just a little bundle of cordage. Got a notebook, which is good for the nav. You can put down your grid reference and, and so on, and just generally the notes taking. And I've got an emergency baby bag. Worst case scenario, because my sleep system is minimal. So um, this is uh, one of the lightsaber ones. I've never used it, as you can see, it's still that size. So it just goes to show, once it's used, <laughs> you probably use up the whole bag to get the bugger back in. But it's um, it's not a cheap, cheap one, but it's not the most expensive. But it's, it's nice and light and good pack size. So that'll be part of my emergency kit. Right, that was in the front utility pouch, so the secondary pouch. Okay, I'm sure that's too dark. No, I'll just take the lap lander off. Here it goes. It's part of my toolkit. So I'll stick the tools in one sort of area if you like. Nav in one area. First aid and self help sort of kit down that way. Right, this main pouch is is my foods. Um, I've got around three and a half thousand calories of food there. Uh, it's a mixture of like shop stuff and military ration type stuff. I'm trying to get away from the military stuff because um, I'm finding there's um, better alternatives out there which are a lot lighter. I mean, these are wet foods mainly. Apart from the cereal, I think I've got cut patches of muesli in there. But, uh, most of it's wet foods, so it's just uh, boil in a bag. But yeah, best part of three and a half thousand calories there. Uh, so for 24 hours, that's pretty boom. Good old hexy stove. I want to keep a low profile, or um, you know, if I'm in a place where you're not allowed to have a fire, if you like. Uh, the place where I'm at at the moment, you're allowed to have ground fires. This is a um, an organised wild campsite, um, but there is designated areas for that kind of camping, which has got a fire pit. So, um, so this is ideal for this area. I can just use this, and they're pretty bomb proof. Um, so my eating and drinking is this. It's the old um, Sig bottle and cup it's the oval one they're actually getting quite hard to get hold of now but they're all steel so i've got the small steel cup got my food and obviously the steel bottle i'm not sure on how many what it will hold i'm guessing maybe just under half a litre or maybe even half a litre but uh yeah it's a it's a pretty cool bottle I could chuck it in a fire, but I haven't bothered. Um, okay, a little fire kit. This is all part of my food preps. Is my fire kit and everything will be part of that. Um, use utensils for eating, obviously. Um, a bit of short fire. Um, bagging out just in case I can't be bothered to take the time and do it, you know, a traditional fire. Right, that's that pouch. Right, in the main compartment, and this is um, 
the actual main compartment of this rucksack is um, opens up like a clamshell. Yeah, it opens right up. So in here, I've got my cheap and cheerful bivy bag. It's um, it's hundred percent waterproof, but it's not breathable. So I will sweat in it. But it's a 24 hour. So for 24 hours, I can cope waking up a bit damp, if you like. You can. They're only about. I don't know, 10 quid. You know, it's ripstop material, but um, you'll see it later when I do it, when I set up the camp properly. In this stuff sack, I have a two season snug pack. It's the old Merlin. I think it's a Merlin 3, something like that it's called. But I've managed to get it in there, which is cool. Right, I've got some more cordage from a tarp and some heavy duty sort of ridge line. Tarp I'm using is a DD, I did have the military, traditional military run, um, which is the 2.4 meter in it by about one point something. Um, but this is actually lighter and packs down smaller. And this is 3.5 meters by 2.4. So it's a lot narrower than the old uh, normal DD tarps you see. I was quite happy. Of the size so I've got the length and uh, and the whips just uh, yeah it's, it's good coverage so that is part of my sleep system got a spare beanie hat in here um, got a travel towel for hygiene plus hygiene kit toothpaste the normal stuff liquid soap and uh, also have a little bit of foot powder in there because um, it's just worth having a bit of foot powder in the evening especially if you've treaded water and stuff like that and you need to dry off look after your feet and in this other section here I've got the um, this goes with the um, water filter I just fill this up with shite water and it filters through because so I can just use that as a, a water bag yeah also I got a meal bank bag. Um, this water here, part it's part still and part running. I'm gonna have to clear it a little bit, but I'll show you that later. Um, but it just takes the strain off the um, the little filter that I've got because you have to flush them through, and it's quite easy to break them. It is possible to break them, but if it's really crappy water, I would use this to filter it through it's a lot easier to clean out so that will go over in my uh, self-help med kit type area that's the flusher for the um, filter the big syringe that comes with it got some puri tabs and some like uh, book matches and i've also got some flameless heat the ones you just add water you normally get these in the american mre packs um, it's just to sort of reduce any kind of detection if you like there's no smoke in, and it's quick so that will also go in the food and also got another little power bank just for my phone it's it won't give it a full charge but it'll give it enough for me to make some calls and stuff like that or i can back up the torch with it if i need to and lastly in it I have um, a little bit of duct tape just in case I don't know tart whips bivy bag whips anything really that kind of stuff it's handy to have it a bit of insulation tape and a bit of a high altitude Kendall high caffeine mint cake if I feel like a buzz if I need to get on my toes but yeah there we go and that's it so, um, and that's all I've got on there so apart from that torch and the mora which I'll remove later but that's it and obviously me rad. So, so what I do now is I'll set up my um, tarp and my sleep system and uh, sort of just go through that a little bit on what I've done but uh, I'm not sure on what the whole weight is but I've tried to strip it back. I mean, it's 24 hours. It's not, you know, that's 
is pretty much, I mean, the only stuff that I probably wouldn't use would be minimal items. The rest of it I will use, and obviously the bag's going to get a lot lighter once I start to stop in this stuff. And it's going to give me that little bit of extra space in there to maybe get a bit more comfortable on the back. So, um, right, so I'll catch you in a bit. I'm just going to set up the actual tarp and my sleep system for, for the night. Cool beans. All right, guys, this is the, um, the water source. The water source that I was talking about. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, part of it's running, which is cool. So most of the crap's getting filtered out with the stones and all that sort of stuff. But the big body of water that I'm sort of getting water from is over there. A bit deeper, it's just a bit easier to fill up the, uh, the soya bottle. A uh, little squeaky bag. But, um, so basically what I'm just doing is just uh, trying to clear out the stones just to get this flow going. You see here it's got like a natural sand going on. So hopefully that will uh, just a bit more of a flow and it takes that top silt off of the, uh, the big body of water over there, yeah? So that'll clear a little bit and it's just, it's just saving on the actual filter itself, which is quite cool. But there's, uh, this is permanently running. Um, but it's just building up pooling down there. Uh, that'd be my water source. Wait. <laughs> Ah. Okay, and uh, down here is where it's happening. I'm using the mill bank bag, fill up the cup, then I chuck some, uh, I chuck a puree tab down in there just to help sort of do that extra little bit. But that stuff will be boiled. Um, this stuff I can just drink straight from the bag. It's, you know, I'm trusting the filter is going to. Not give me a gut ache. All the all the skitters. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is basically going to be cooked with. I can you know, puree tab it and just bring it to a rolling boil as well. You know, so uh, it'll kill any kind of bacteria and that kind of stuff in there, which you know most people know anyway. Because um, the thing with these filters, these are all right, but. Um, yeah, certain viruses and that, they don't touch it, and metals, and, you know, if you're on farmland and stuff, and I've seen many people drinking out of rivers and stuff with these filters, and it's just like, wow, you know, because it runs off of fields, it's got pesticides and that in it. These things don't get rid of it, not these cheap ones. They won't get rid of pesticides and chemicals, and you can boil them forever. They're, you're still going to get some sort of, uh, yeah, I wouldn't like I, I just personally don't do it. So um, for this kind of stuff, it's all right. Yeah, I kind of know the area. Um, there might be something in there. I'm not 100%. But, um, you know, do what you can. I mean, the mill bank bag is great. It's getting all the heavy crap out of it. Puree tab, kill the bacteria and so on. And, you know, and then I was just going to boil it anyway. So uh, should be good to go. But I'm just drinking straight from the, uh, just straight from the bag from here and just hoping for the best. <laughs> it tastes all right. Right, um, so I'm gonna just try and spin this round. All right. I've gone for like a baker tent type. How do you do? I've just pegged it down the sides. I've used those two less beaners which are on the side of my bag to um, scrinch up the side of the tarp. I haven't gone the full length for the three and a half meter length that it is. I don't need to. If I was hammock camping, different, different ball game, you want that extra length. But um, that's going to be spot on. The weather forecast the last the next couple of days, well, for tonight and tomorrow is going to be boom. So that's all right. Um, I don't know if I can zoom in a little bit. I will take this off, but um, so I can't see if that's really light or dark. But, um, this is the actual baby bag. A little sleeping bag inside. There we go. But 
Yep, it's 100% waterproof, it's full length, I can even chuck the bag in the bottom of it, it's so long. But it does uh, scrunch up at the top, you yeah. know. It is a mummy, a mummy bag. But that's cool, I've got Pancho down as a liner. Um, the phone leaf around here was quite dense anyway, so it's a bit, it's a bit comfortable, it's, it's quite flat. But yeah, I'll be shielded for the elements from that. If it did rain, I'd be quite happy. I can even. Yeah, I've got an extra couple of tie points which I can peg down if necessary. But, um, well, with the front of the tarp here, I've actually sort of made use of the power cord. Um, just taking the liner out, the, the inner strands out, using that to tie down, and you can use the outer casing so it just stretches the length with your power cord so you haven't got to use hundreds and hundreds of meters of it it's certainly used and yeah so uh, that's going to be my handball of both for the night um, and i always pack the pack you know just take out what i need and put it in the pack and leave it in the pack get it out when i need it just to save any kind of loss and all that kind of gear But that's the camp set. So uh, I'll just clear a little area here. There's some stones in the river. I'll stick my hexi stove on it. I'm not going to have an open fire. Um, if the situation here was different, you're allowed to just randomly just go where you like and do this. Then, uh, yeah, I'd have my fire sat around about here somewhere. And I'd put up a nice little wooden, out of, made out of um, loads and loads of dead wood, which is around here. I'll just make up a fire barrier just to push me in. You know, which would be quite cool. And that little um, cheap and cheerful fire blanket, um, emergency blanket, the full one, is quite cool because I could always duct tape, just tag it with the duct tape right on the back of the tarp, right down to the floor. So any heat that goes in, it just reflects it straight back onto yourself. Which, you know, they're, I mean, they're like a pound a pack, cheap as chips, but they do work. You can have the fire fairly close. It will reflect that heat back onto your body so you can pack down the size of your sleep system to get it in these small packs you know but uh yeah happy days now all i've got to do is just wait for the old uh oh, just uh so i bet my camera work it's tap. but yeah so cool beans and um i'll probably do a little bit more video later i've got an extra battery it should be alright, so should be out there. Uh, yeah, I'll just set up my little cooking system, have some foods, and uh, yeah, that cup's almost pretty. That's only been on there, I don't know, five minutes, five, ten minutes. I've almost filled up that cup, which is cool. And the thing with the meal bank bag, don't dunk the meal bank bag, you've got to fill that, like decanter the water into it. So I just use that blue squidgy bag from the soya filter system to fill that up and I've, I've not filled it to the rim because you can add puri tab to it inside the mill bank bag but you can just break those tablets up you know accordingly so yeah so that'd be cool so my little humble abode for the night is going to be yeah cool and I could always, you know, if rain did kick in, I would, yeah, I could go full, full Monty. I've got plenty of space to do it. So, uh, yeah, so, cool beans. I uh, hope you liked it so far. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe and all that nonsense. Um, oh, I keep getting my, uh, where is it? Try and zoom into it a little bit better if I can. Hey, my little challenge coin. Get him in shot. There we go. Anyway, excellent. And I'll uh, catch you a bit later.
and uh, yeah, cool. All right, then, as you go, I've got my little lamb and chip here on the cook. Uh, got a nice little rolling ball going. I only use a couple of those little um, hexi blocks. But, um, yeah, that's getting nice and warm now. That's going to be my lunch. And, uh, some dodgy army ration barbecue peanuts. <laughs> Which is uh, mm, all right. Um, yeah. That'll be lunch today. I've got some fruit salad for afters. Be cool, and I'll get a brew on in a bit later. And uh, so I've already got through one battery. Um, I mean, it's quite an old camera, but hopefully I'll uh, get a bit more video later. But I, I haven't got any lighting. I don't know what the score is, but um, I'll do what I can. If not, um, excellent. I hope it liked it so far. It was just mainly about the bag anyway, the video and the contents. It wasn't really about the whole experience being out. But, um, but yeah, just uh, I'm quite pleased with the little setup of the bag. Um, I don't think I want anything else in it. I've got everything I need, you know, a bit of first aid, a bit of nav, food, sleep system, a bit of lighting. Um, the only other thing that I have I brought in with me is uh, a Leatherman tool, which is on the belt, mobile phone, um, and I've got a, a fire steel, a bit of a seam rod which I have in my pocket. Um, obviously a jacket, um, a pair of gloves, that could be red hot. Um, and that's about all I've brought in. Yeah. I didn't even bring any kind of spare socks or maybe I should have chucked a pair of spare socks in it but I mean my boots are pretty cool, they're pretty waterproof so but other than that no, nothing else brought in apart from this whole camera thing which is quite quite annoying. I've got like a big mega uh, battery bank which I bought in um, for the camera but it's camera's so old it's yeah it doesn't really do, it doesn't really touch it i may have a go of it later fucking i know go. that's pretty much done now yeah this is nice so anyway cheers hopefully i can do a bit more footage later uh depending on lighting and battery um i'm that like i say it's, it was mainly about the um the actual bag set up and what I can do with a sleep system that I can actually fit in a, a small bag. Which um, I don't think it's too bad. So uh, anyway, excellent. Cheers for watching. And hopefully there'll be a bit more. If there is, I'll edit this bit out. And uh, So take it easy, get out there, stay safe. And uh, have a go. Catch you later.